In order to get started with Python, the first thing you need to do is download it. So, open up Google and do a search for Python download and it will probably be the first result that comes back and you can see it's python.org um, and you've got some options here there's quite a lot of options on here of things to download um, you will want to download Python 2.7 uh, because that's what we use in school if you want to use Python 3.3 .3, uh, you're more than welcome to um, there are uh, some differences uh, for example print you have to use uh, circle brackets for um, but uh, they're, they're not a massive you can easily um, you know work your way through it I suggest if you're just starting out you stick with 2.7 um, again that's what I'm going to base all my tutorials on so you need to choose the Windows installer if you have a Mac uh, machine at home you don't need to do this uh, Python will already be installed so you don't have to worry about it also the same with Linux you don't have to worry about it so you're going to um, choose one of these so you can click on it uh, it will download the file um, and then the next thing you need to do is open the file and install it once you've installed it uh, you can then open up uh, the Python GUI so if you click on your start menu, go to all programs, uh, choose Python, sorry, just got too many things installed on this computer, Python, and choose idle, the Python GUI. Okay, and then you get this up. Now this isn't something you particularly do tons of programming in. Um, this is more for um, you know basic trying things out. You can program in this, um, obviously, but um, you know, I prefer different editors. So for example, if I want to try some code out I can enter it directly into it and notice when I press enter it actually runs the code directly so I can do some more code like this and so on and so forth in order to do some serious Python coding we need an editor to do so um, there's loads of editors. Uh, if you do a, a search for Python editors um, the first link that comes back will probably be this one um, and as you can see there's absolutely tons of them um, all they are are simple text editors with um, some extra features such as code highlighting and the ability to actually press execute and run the code there are lots of options for you to choose from um, for Windows uh, I tend to use either Genie or Notepad++ in school we use Genie so I'm going to show you how to download Genie and set it up so, first of all you do a search for Genie download, um, again the first result coming back is download Genie. Then you can choose Windows binaries and then click the first one, Genie 1.22 setup.exe. Um, there might be a new version by the time you download it but um, you effectively you just want the um, setup. It's a fairly straightforward setup, so once uh, you've done that, you can actually um, move on and actually start to use Genie. So I'm going to quickly boot Genie up, because I've already got it installed. Okay, and Genie is a very, very straightforward um, piece of software. So I'm just going to get it so you can see my whole screen. Okay, you see I've got a load of code already opened up and it's got syntax highlighting, all lovely uh, and great. Um, what we need to do is basically um, tell it uh, when you uh, press execute it will run the Python program. So if I, uh, I don't know, choose my Hangman version 6, press execute, it will actually run the code and allow me to test things out. So, in order to do this, I'm going to first of all close all my files and I'm going to create a new file. Now in order to set Genie up to understand Python we need to first save a basic program. So I'm going to type in some code and this will be, if I can spell world, uh, this will be first Python program. Notice so far it's not done anything, it hasn't uh, highlighted the syntax or anything. So in order to um, 
get it to highlight, I need to save it as a Python file. So I need to go to File and Save As. I'm going to choose a sensible place to uh, store it. So into my documents maybe. And I'm going to call this first. And this is the important bit, really important, is you put a .py at the end. This basically tells Genie that this is now a Python file. So if I click on uh, save, you can see straight away it's come up with syntax highlighting. Now in order to get the execute button working, I need to do a bit more work. And this is uh, really important. This is the one step that students find very difficult. You need to basically tell Genie where you install Python. That's the key to it. To do this, I need to go to the build menu. And then I need to go down to set build commands. Once I'm here, you can see that there's two big bits filled out, this compile part and the execute part. The thing that you're really interested in is this part, the execute. Now notice mine says c colon forward slash python 27 forward slash python quotation mark percent f quotation mark. That is the path to where Python was installed. Remember I said it's best to leave it with the default path? Well, here's my C drive. You can see if I go down to Python 27, you can see there's a program here called Python. And that's actually what runs the Python programs. So what I've done is I've got the direct path to uh, where Python is installed and the Python program itself. The percent %f a base is basically going to be the name of the file that you've just saved. And this is what Genie uses to basically um, tell Python about the program you've just written. So if you type in this command exactly, and if you install Python 27 in the exact same place, then it should work. If you've installed Python uh, 3, or 3.3, 3, uh, it's very likely it's going to be saved in a folder called Python 3.3. 3. Okay, so you may need to change these numbers. Um, for a lot of people, they might say uh, Python 26 or Python on its own. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as it's the exact same as your folder here. Okay, so look for, go into your C drive, look for your Python uh, folder, and it should be the exact same. Once you've done that, you can simply press execute and all all things going right you should get it working if you get this I'm gonna make a mistake on purpose just to show you what it looks like if you get this message okay this is a common message that people get um, this means it can't find Python that's what it's talking about in that case you need to go back to your build set build commands and make sure this is correct once you've got Python set up uh, for the first time, you don't have to do that again. Okay, so it's just the first time you're in Python uh, and the first time you're in Genie.